Okay. You are officially on camera. Okay. Recording. Okay, well, um, I am uh, excited to do a very special episode today, very special uh, interview, because this is someone who is, um, I would have to say, the most important person in my life. So <laughs> this is my sweet wife, Victoria, Victoria Jaswick. Uh, sometimes she uses Sanford at the end as well, but anyway, so um, yeah, this is a really, really cool opportunity for us to interview and discover, for me to interview and discover more about this person who I am with at all times. <laughs> so thanks for being here, sweetie. You're welcome. You ready yeah. to get to know me? <laughs> I'm ready, ready to get to know you more. Absolutely. So. Um, Yes, yeah, so our theme this month is uh, Know Thyself, which is part of our core curriculum, you know, and what we're interested in is pursuing the, what I refer to as the primal uh, perspective, which means getting really down to the core essence of what it is we're talking about. So, um, so I've got some questions that'll help kind of bring us to that level. But first of all, um, my first question, is what's in terms of you know the subject we're talking about and we don't have to stay right on that but in terms of uh, know thyself what is your background to that topic and or your relationship to it and how does it you know uh, what do we need to know about you in relationship to know thyself so why are we having this talk <laughs> in relation to my career my my work that sure However you okay. want to approach it. Well, I mean, it's all connected, right? So, but um, as a transformational hypnotherapist and a soul guide, uh, that is the whole goal to get to the essence of who we are, to, to uh, become aware of our conditioned self, our pattern self, and then reclaim who I believe, you know, I believe we have our soul essence, our soul purpose, why we're here. We all have a certain unique mission. Um, something to offer and express and so it's about knowing thyself is about knowing the essence of soul and reclaiming that potential and possibility cool so um what why is it important to you to that you know a person knows themselves or to you you know why is it important to you Again, I think that's the that's the, sort of the journey. We're here. We uh, come in with a mission. We we forget who we truly are. We get conditioned to be a certain way to fit in with our family of origins or you know in our communities. Um, and it's sort of this reclaiming and reconnecting. And the only way to do that is to stop, be present to who you truly are, um, to notice the conditioned patterns that come out of you know um, negative core beliefs. Um, from our family of origin, just sort of that adaptive phase where we adapt to fit in, to be loved, to be safe, to meet those primary needs. And then it's a journey about, wait a minute, who am I really? I'm not this, you know, um, limited fear-based self that I've become. I, I like, I love the uh, concept um, from Pierre Chardin, which is that we are spiritual beings having a human experience. So knowing thyself is to be aware of the human experience, but what's beyond that and reclaiming that, our soul essence. And so how is, uh, how would you say is the need for knowing ourselves being met today or not being met today? Like what do you see um, people doing? Hmm. Well, I think it's a lot trickier to know thyself with so much uh, social media inter uh, interaction and interference um, because um, I think the primary way to know thyself is to spend time with thyself, <laughs> to have <laughs> connection time with your own soul wisdom, with your own, um, with your own being. There's so much going on all the time right now, especially with you know social media. And really, I just have this image of it's just like a 
laser beams of projections going in and out. And so is that me? Is that this person who's, you know, there's a lot of confusion and the chaos and so much. So stepping outside of that, I think. And uh, of course we see ourselves through those projections, you know, but it can be overwhelming. But I think that, that, that is, you know, that's playing a big game. If you can stay in connection with the desire to know yourself through all the projections, through all the chaos and all the um, confusion, that's a big game we, we'd be playing as opposed to stepping out and, you know, having that time of solitude and connection, journaling. Um, for me, my tools are dream work um, and even astrology to, to come back to who am I really, you know, and there are tools like that to, to bring us back. You know, I, I like to use that term tether us back into the essence of who we are um, to follow um, our own soul wisdom and our own inner knowing, which, you know, is no small task. It's a practice, but does that answer your question? <laughs> yeah, that's part of it for sure. Um, what do you think are the, uh, if you, what's the most important concept or most important thing to know in knowing myself? It's a tough question, I know. Yeah, what's the most important thing in knowing ourselves? Uh, I think that, that we're clear on what we're here to offer and and knowing ourselves, we can live from that authentic potential and purpose and give others permission to do the same. And if we're not knowing ourselves, if we're not connecting and, and uh, letting, connecting to our own soul and our own wisdom, it then is the unfolding of our journey here. Anything short of that, we're just kind of like <laughs> pinball, you know, being, uh, triggered by this person, bouncing off this person, being pulled by this trend, just all over the place and not really unfolding or expanding or developing or cultivating the potential within us. So do you, did I hear you say it's um, who we're, or what we're called to do here more than say who we are? Is that, I think it's a combination, you, you know, I think we find ourselves in the, in the things we're called to and we cultivate who we need to become to honor that, those soul calls. Cool. Yeah. I think that when we shift our awareness and focus to that question of who am I and what am I here to do, then everything in our life becomes a um, feedback loop for that to know ourselves, to understand, and then take action based on that, you know, that's feedback. Cool. Nice. I like that. That's, that seems really, uh, really useful. Um, so what's involved in the process of knowing yourself, knowing oneself? Mm -hmm. like, what, are, what are the steps if you took someone who didn't didn't know anything about themselves uh what are the steps you would take if you had to make it you know make it a process maybe it's something you do in your work uh that you know overarching journey you take people on but what is the process of knowing oneself what steps do you have to go through mm -hmm. okay just get on facebook and ask people <laughs> just kidding <laughs> Um, <laughs> you'll get to know them through what they tell you about you. Um, uh, gosh, no easy task. I'm trying to think about how I work in my sessions. Um, I feel like, um, and that's the key word, feel, is when I'm with a client and I'm helping them with whatever their presenting request is. I don't, not everybody comes in to want to know themselves. They usually want to uh, get unstuck or um, really some patterns that aren't serving them but mostly I'm listening and you can almost see it and you, when you're watching someone and they're just talking from 
a talking head, you know, there's a disconnect from the body. There's a disconnect from their experience. They're just running loops of ideas. And, and so they're not connected. They don't know who they are. They know concepts of who they are. They know who they believe themselves to be. They know who they were adapted to become. So I'm listening and I'm also feeling in my body, like what, what, what a disconnect is. And I'm listening for their narrative. Um, those unconscious messages that bubble up in narrative, like, um, and mostly the first entry point is that I, I will ask them to close their eyes and disconnect from the talking head, close their eyes, but maybe put their hand on their heart and breathe into their body. And, you know, I always say our bodies are our longest companion. They've been through everything we've been through, experienced and felt everything too. And they also hold that place for calling us back in. I mean, our bodies are like our shelter, our home. And so it's dropping into our heart space. I think of the heart as the bridge between soul and human experience. I can't tell you where I got that. It's a felt sense. Maybe I read it somewhere, dropping into the heart. And, you know, just even that disconnecting from the external world, closing eyes, dropping into our heart, we drop into a deeper sense of, you know, the feeling sense of who we are, as opposed to, you know, and even that terminology, know thyself. I mean, we could break that down, like, do what do you, how can you really know? But maybe it's more of a feeling, especially the level of the, the soul. I think it's more of a feeling, a resonance, a, um, an alignment. Um, yeah. It, you know, one of my favorite things that connected a dot for me is a strange little story. But I remember being in church and seeing the sign language person, you know, signing everything the minister was saying. And she kept doing this. And I was like, well, what is that word? And then it's God, right? It's God. So for me, knowing oneself is getting an alignment with who God created us to be, who are, what our soul essence is, not being pulled into the human experience too much, off kilter, off center, not, you know, distracted by the world, pulled into the external world, you know, centered in our being. And that is a, a felt sense. It's more of a feeling than a knowing. Does that make sense? That's really cool. Yeah. I like that, that alignment, that's that sign. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I know you don't have much time, but if uh, if you could only share one thing that would help people know themselves in a greater way for that journey of you know healing and transformation, assuming know thyself is kind of the first step, what mm -hmm. would what would it be? What would be the <laughs> one thing? Gosh, I, I can't give you one thing. I'll tell you what, though, I often say to my clients and in my, in my workshops, get a picture of yourself. Usually it's when you're a child or a baby, but it could be when you're older. When you look at that picture and you can have that felt sense of there I was, I was fully embodied in my possibilities and being, you know, there's we, we all have those, and those are, the, those are the touchstones I try to bring people to. Like, remember a time when you were just feeling so good, flowing with your life, feeling, um, just feeling like yourself. And most people get a sense of that, feeling like yourself, not like that restricted condition self. But to find a picture where the eyes are lit up and there's just joy beaming through and and most people, I, I've never had anyone say, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll just say, go look through your pictures. And then they, they say, I, I found a picture. I saw, my, it makes me cry. I saw myself. I really saw myself. And then it's like, that's who we're trying to recover and reclaim. Mm -hmm. But usually it happens when we're babies or kids, you know? So that's the entry point to reclaiming yourself, to know yourself, to, to, um, it's like to, yeah, patch, <laughs> patch those pieces back that were lost along the way of who you truly are. That's awesome. That's cool. That's a cool little uh, exercise people can do too. So Yeah, definitely. Cool. Well, yeah. Um, anything else you want to say before we 
<laughs> but you know, I don't like to be limited to one thing. <laughs> so I know. also say, pay attention to your dream work, to your emotions, to, you know, tracking your thoughts. Um, and of course, astro astrology, which we'll talk about another time, which to me is like creator gives us this blueprint of um, our soul and our journey here and ways. Yeah, you know, I always say, you think that we would be uh, created and sent here without any kind of instructions at all. And I think of um, astrology as kind of a little, like you like to use the word map and like a little bit of a little bit of a map, some instructions, some idea of um, what our mission is and who we are. So I think that's definitely my one of my big tools for knowing thyself. Cool. Well, yeah, we'll be. I'll look forward to unpacking a little more about that blueprint with you another time. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, okay. Well, thank you very much, sweet oh, Victoria. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> we'll have to do more of these. Uh, it's amazing to, you know, from my experience, seeing, seeing you in your work. Not that I've seen you know directly necessarily in sessions, but either seeing you afterwards or seeing you, you know, just uh, kind of doing a little heart first aid on the side with people and seeing how people respond. It's really amazing to see your work and it's, it's really intuitive and really powerful. And so I think there's, there's some sort of, uh, I don't know, there's some sort of special thing going on that um, I hope people can, can see. And I want to kind of explore more and see what, what's really going on there, what magic you're doing. So, um, so how can people best uh, get a hold of you and what is, what do you want them to know in terms of what's coming up for you? What are you offering? Well, first of all, thank you for that. And what are you doing later? <laughs> no. uh, <no. laughs> um, <laughs> uh, website, sacredsoulvision.com. Um, I am not on Facebook as much, but I have a page, Sacred Soul Vision with Victoria Jaswick. Um, I do respond to messages there, um, but probably website would be best. Yeah. You have Instagram too. You have a bunch of, you oh, put out in terms of Instagram inspirational stuff too, right? Yeah. And you know, I have slowed down a little bit with that too. I'm kind of in a, as many of us are right now and this kind of just hold back, reflecting, assessing. Um, there's a lot going on in the world. It's to center, find our footing, find where we can deliver something of value during this time. Um, so I haven't been as active on Instagram, but it's the same. It's Sacred Soul Vision with Victoria Jaswick on Instagram as well. And I just, just remembered YouTube too. You have your YouTube channel with a bunch of oh, right. <laughs> really cool stuff on there as well. So yeah, well, is it just your name? Just getting started with that too. Um, it's, it's my name, Victoria Jaswick, the soul nurturer. Um, so okay. I go by there on YouTube with some... T you know, transformational topics and some guided imagery. And you're gonna, and I hear you have a new website coming out soon too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. Um, this someone's working on that for me. I have my assistant. <laughs> no, um, yeah. So when is that website going to be ready? Well, <laughs> probably, hopefully by the end of the month. Maybe, maybe before that. Um, yeah. And that'll yeah. be just your name, VictoriaJazwick.com. Yes. So, cool. Well, awesome. Thanks, sweetie. Um, well, thank you. Seeing you in just a few minutes. And <laughs> thanks, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll certainly have more interviews with Victoria Jaswick in the future. Take care <laughs> and keep going. Thank you. And cut. Nice job, babe. <sighs> thanks, babe. You're cute on camera. How'd that feel? Well, I got into my groove at some point. Yeah. Good okay. question. How's the time? You got to get going? I don't know. What time is it? It's probably close. About okay, five minutes. I got to get going then. Come and give okay. me a hug. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.